Hi, this is Jason here with Batrix, and today we're going to cover the data logging software on the Batrix ETG series. So the unit is powered on. To get into the data logging, I'm going to press the down arrow key to get into the menu. I'm going to select data logging. So right now we're in the data logging menu. Right now we're not data logging. It tells you that. It tells you the current sample rate that is set, samples every five seconds, and the amount of battery life that is left to conduct your test. So 91 hours to go, we could run and do data logging. So let's configure the device. Now the ETG series does have the capability to store 200 sessions or 64,000 uh, samples. So we're going to set up the configuration. So I can set the interval. I can use my arrow keys to set the interval in seconds, minutes, and hours. Just use the up and down arrow key it'll roll over to minutes and hours. So I'm going to go back down. I'm going to set that to every five seconds. So once again, it tells you you're ready to go. Now, one other thing that you saw on the menu was the ability to start an alarm. So if I selected this and had a either high or low alarm set, uh, based on the PSI or whatever engineering unit you were using, it would automatically start the data logging session. So, so once again, interval of five seconds, good to go. So I can start. So right now it tells you I'm logging. So it's recording, taking re readings every five seconds and recording that in the memory in the gauge. To stop the session, go back in the data logging. Stop, it's highlighted, hit select. So you stop. So now I'm going to extract the data from the unit, which is just a simple USB cable in the back. And we'll cover how to do that with the data management software. So the data management software lets you bring in data that's recorded on the gauge to the PC to view, print, and detect trends. So let's get started. First, I'm going to plug the USB cable into the gauge. and turn the gauge on. So you'll notice the device says not connected in the major screen here up top. So it'll ping up and bring up the gauge automatically. You don't have to mess with setting COM ports, uh, drivers that automatically recognizes it. So you notice we have a, it's a pretty easy to use interface. Uh, we have a couple buttons here. We have upload data, delete device data, change device, start new session. So First, I'm going to upload some data from the gauge. So I have a couple sessions stored on my gauge. So I'm simply just going to hit the upload data button. It's going to bring whatever is on the gauge down to the PC. So you see here, I have two different sessions, which gives you the date, time, and a file name, which is the session followed by the number and then the serial number. Now you can change this on the fly. You can name it to whatever you want and then actually save that. It will record in the native units that was set in the gauge. You can also drop down and change that as well. So we're going to bring in a session. I'm going to select session one. I can hit save selected. It'll save it to this directory. You can change the directory. So no more scrumming around trying to find out where you save the files. It tells you right here. Um, right now I'm going to keep it under documents um, and do that. So once checked, I'm going to hit save selected. It's going to grab the information from the gauge. It tells me it's saved one file. Hit OK. OK, so now I can view that file. So I'm going to pull up Explorer Documents and I'm sorting by date. So it's the last one I brought in. OK, so we give you a native Excel file. Uh, we have the data here, time and seconds, pressure. Uh, if you started the data logging on an alarm, either a low or high alarm, uh, this would be set. Time and hour, elapsed time with date and timestamp. I can switch over to the tab with report. We build in a quick report in Excel with the name, model, serial number, start time, stop time, and a graph which lets you see the trend. Now what's nice is you can hover on the Excel uh, plot and you can see the different points. It tells you exactly where you're at. 
and the trend over time. So this is included once you buy the data logging package. It's included. It's very easy to use, uh, friendly. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and go back to the main screen. So with the data management software, I can also start a new session on the fly. I don't have to go to my gauge if I wanted to start another session. So I can use the slider and set the logging interval to whatever I wanted there. Uh, I can start on alarm if I wanted to, and then I can start a new session. So right now, say I'm logging and I want to do every uh, five seconds, or I can actually just type it in. Hit start new session. So right now it's, it's logging. If you've seen the gauge, it would be logging. I can even stop it from here as well. I can stop it, and I can upload it. And there's the session I just did right now. So... So very easy to use, um, like I said, built in Excel. Uh, we will be working on a PDF for those that do not want uh, the ability to modify or manipulate the data. That will be coming out shortly, but I figured I'd give you a quick overview on our data management software for the ETG series. Thanks for watching the short video.